for the Yugoslavian state airline. But it very quickly became the Air Force One of Yugoslavia, if you like. Marshal Tito took it as his official, his official aircraft. And it was modified on the inside to an incredible standard of luxury. It really is a beautiful interior on this aeroplane. In 1975, it became the Air Force One of Zambia. Kenneth Callender, the president of Zambia, using the aircraft again as his private aircraft. It's a presidential machine. Later in its career, it spent some time in Namibia at Windhoek. And in 1999, it was found flying in Zambia. I do beg your pardon, found flying in Angola. Flying Bulls purchased the aircraft in 2000 and began a three year restoration to its original condition. And when I say original, I mean the condition it was in, inside and out, as the official presidential aircraft of Marshal Tito of Yugoslavia. It's the most amazing aeroplane. Of course, the DC-6 was a development of the earlier military transport. The C-54, also known as the DC-4, in its airliner form. And of course, the DC-4 and the C-54, famous aircraft in Berlin, as of course they were both used on the Berlin airlift. And this is the aircraft that came immediately after them, so lovely to see this magnificent flying mirror here in the skies of ELA 2012. Ja, der Vorläufer, die DC-4, kennen die Berliner natürlich besonders gut. Das sieht auch schon fast ähnlich aus. Weil aus der DC-4 wurde ja dann die DC-6 entwickelt, so wie Sie sie hier am Himmel sehen. Wie Tim sagt, der fliegende Spiegel. Ein wunderschönes Bild, wenn Sie dieses Flugzeug dann so durch die Sonne kurft. Aber noch eine Besonderheit bei der Sache ist, die Piloten von sagen, von diesem Flugzeug, wer das Flugzeug hier fliegen will, der muss zubacken können. Dieses Flugzeug steuern ohne richtige Elemente, Steuerunterstützungen, wie man sie heute kennt.